Hey guys, it's D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. I have a little bit of an action plan for today's episode, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Imagine that. So we're actually going to target that uh, green star there. I'm going to pick up one of those today, because why not? Collecting the green stars in the trio will eventually... Oh, I don't want to do this. Oh, I guess I'm doing this. Maybe we'll do two Dusty Dunes. I was not planning on doing two Dusty Dunes. Ooh, this one is great. Can you feel it? Can you hear the inflection in my voice? If you can't tell that I love it, well, it's because I do. All right, so we got purple coins. I don't think this one is 100. I believe this one actually has like closer to 120 or 130. So that's pretty nice, generous. Once again, though, being mindful. Actually, I, uh, this might be this might be this might be a hundred, a hundred only. I, it's been some time since I've done this one. But once again, one of the things to be very mindful of while going after such a treacherous mission here is the reality of starting over if you die. So. That's still in play, and unfortunately, this mission in particular is a little tricky because you have that brief moment playing through this one where the game feels like they're on your side. You're playing through it, and the game sinks you into that sand when you make a mistake, and you're like, all right, I can recover, but the reality is that you're not. You're just gonna watch Mario sink to his death. So yeah, we'll deal with that in a moment. But I'd like to say uh, thanks to everybody for watching. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. If you're a repeat watcher, welcome back. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. I'm gonna keep making some prime real estate content here on this channel. If you're enjoying yourselves, please throw a like on the video. If you'd like to engage in conversation with yours truly, hit me up with a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you have it for uh, updates and up to the up to the second information on my life. Just kidding. That would be kind of insane, wouldn't it? You've got people that are so attentive to their audiences that they are able to give them second by second updates of their lives. That's a little too neurotic for me. So so far so good. I'm. I think I've learned my lesson from the times I played Honey Hive. The galaxy that I just collected the 100 coins for last time. To, to know that I don't want to make those same mistakes. And so I'm kind of being more careful. You could, you could say careful. Which is weird because I'm just so... Um, reckless, you know? That's what people would describe me as growing up. He's so reckless. Not really, but. A man can dream, can't he? Huh? How cool would that feel? I I would really enjoy being able to get this star. I have no idea, or this coin. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble grabbing it. The gravity situation here is kind of throwing me off. I'm not entirely sure where it is, like, respectively. I can't, like, I can see the shadow of it. There we go, okay. That was really messing with my head. I had that problem last time too, when I was playing Honey Hive itself, was that there were a few moments where I just did not understand what the game was trying to do visually with the camera angles. They were very creative. And the issue with this game is that having the semi-fixed camera does make things a little difficult. Mario was beatboxing there for a second. Yeah, the semi-fixed camera is a little cumbersome, and the game doesn't really... I don't think it feels bad about it. You're not really able to see what you need to see a lot of the time, which is kind of frustrating. You know, you're trying to move around, and then you get stuck in a spot where the game is like, mm -mm, 
Oh, like just like that. That was actually my fault. If I would have fallen in the in the sand and died, that would have been my fault. I am willing to take responsibility for my mistakes when I cause them. But any mistake or perceived mistake on this channel is highly intentional. To show you what not to do, right? That's 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 good service. That's quality service, you know? You're you're getting some bang for your buck, right? And that's what we all want nowadays. We we're just looking for a for a quality product. And here at D-Mike Industries, that's exactly what you're going to get. Quality. Usually quantity, but sometimes sometimes quality. So we're doing pretty well so far. We are 75% of the way there. That's good math. This is really making my brain hurt. Okay, so I grab those semi-intentionally. All right, so we have these, I don't know what these guys are called, tweezers. That makes me think of the, the things from uh, Mario Galaxy. Oh, hey, Captain Toad, what were you saying? Oh, thanks. Should always wish people good luck, even if they don't need it. Just on things that might seem kind of innocuous in life, like, hey, um, good luck going to work today. People will be like, why would you, why would you say that? You know, just to, just to keep things fresh. You know, I don't know if, I can't quite tell if there's coins above these guys. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, remember if I'm able to actually get inside these guys. That, that's a statement I will hopefully never repeat again in my life. Um, let's try it. Ooh. Okay, so that's one side down. Yeah, I, I just always thought that the little the little mines, I think that's what those are, around these guys are like required to be avoided. But I guess not. So there's nine coins left, and I believe the nine remaining coins are on the underside of this. Well, eight are on the underside of this platform. Oh, just kidding, there's another one up there. Can I grab that? Can I grab that? Yes, so there's five. The only downside is I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get back. Oh, so those aren't mines, but they are brutal and they have no regard for Mario or his safety, rude. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this. I'm not thinking I am. Okay, so I was not. I was close. Whoa. I, uh, I almost broke the cardinal rule of dying with 90 plus coins. That's a sin if I've ever seen one. It's also a way to get me to reset my recording out of mild anger and frustration. But don't worry. You'd never actually see that. That's not allowed. This is a cash, very chill, fun, hip, trendy let's play. We don't get angry here on this channel. I almost overshot that and screwed up, so I'm glad that that tornado actually caught me. It's very nice. Also, I think it's interesting, this is just something I noticed visually, is that uh, Mario's shadow, when he's in the air like that, is somehow a perfect circle. Not sure how that's possible. But, uh, first try. And that only took nine and a half minutes. Or less than that, actually, because I had to get over here. Yeah, these purple coin missions are, are fine. Like, they're not... I, I'm totally contradicting myself, they're not fine. Um, they're not horrible, like most of them are, at least the ones that aren't timed. But, man. It really sucks how much time these take to do. I feel like that's the part that kind of gets under my skin the most. Also, I wasn't intending to do that one, so hopefully I can squeeze in four. That was not the intended Dusty Dune star that I wanted to grab. I almost forgot about this too. I was about to leave and move on to the second star that I got in my brain. 
I got star on the brain. So we're gonna do a revisit to blasting through the sand. We're gonna go through it the alternative way because that is how we acquire the green star. We're gonna need all three of them to unlock the final three trial stars, which is going to be stars 118, 119, and 120. So that's fun. Just a little, uh, you know, a little teaser, a little excitement for the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and dispatch Strawberry Pokey here. Or maybe it's like cranberries, cherries, I don't know. I guess that's, I mean, it's got like weird little freckles on its face body. I don't, its neck. I'm not entirely sure the, uh, the anatomy of Pokey that makes it look like that. Okay. But anyway, the intended route. Okay, great. The intended route of this star, initially, if we remember way back to when I did it, which was on episode, is um, you're taking that sling star in the middle of the, the rolling rock, whatever platform. We're actually gonna go underneath because we get star power, heck yes. Another opportunity to gain some star bits if you need them. We're gonna destroy all of them. So that's great. I think that was all I needed to do, or not. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. Hold on a second. Yeah, I guess that was for fun. Sure. We're gonna fly around. Oh, I see what it is. There's a hungry Luma that's underneath this platform. That's why we're getting all these star bits. And I don't know if I've acquired enough yet. Hopefully it's somewhere between the... Okay, cutting me off. That's rude. Interrupting people. I'm trying to talk here, buddy. Oh, he only needs 20. Okay, great. So we will do that. It's underneath this platform. I'm assuming that the intent that I had in my brain was getting rid of the... Yes, this is super fun. Getting rid of that platform with all the rocks on it. Not getting rid of it, really, but taking advantage of it so that way I could have the star bits to enter this cool geometry. What did the acorn say when it grew up? Geometry. More silver stars, everybody. Heck yes. You know how I feel about silver stars. You know I love it. So we got some shifting sand here. This is the shifting sand land from Mario 64. There's been a lot of kind of references to that in the past few episodes. Accurate. Our second silver star is right here. We're gonna be collecting a bunch of these. There's a third one. Can I grab it? Yes, I can. We went full Bob the Builder on that one. I almost forgot what show that was from. I wanted to say Dora the Explorer, but that is no bueno. So here's star number four. We need Uno Mas. That's one more for you who knows who know French. To finish up this one. Okay. So we're doing okay. I'm trying to figure out where that. Uh, oh god. Oh. Oh goodness gracious. Almost got crushed. That's not fun for anyone. Or maybe it is. Maybe you're into that. You know, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to kink shame here or anything. Maybe that's kind of something you're into. If you enjoy being crushed by stuff, if that's a fetish, I've never heard of it, but hey. The world is your oyster and the world is a weird place, so. All right, so we're gonna keep trying to rotate this sand here to navigate this area. I'm hoping that this is gonna be a shorter star. Oh, I can see it. I'm hoping this will be, ah, uh, come on. Well, I guess I have to go through the entire sand cycle again. Heck and heck. All right, come on, come on, come on. We ain't got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for this. All right. So I'm thinking if I can step on this and then jump up here, maybe? I would like to get over this heckin' platform. Yes. Ah, take that game. Sequence break. Ha. Ah. Nobody holds D mic back except for himself emotionally sometimes. Okay. That's five silver stars. 
kind of look like little pieces of pizza. There's a green star. How about that? Those should be worth two stars. All right. So hopefully we can get out of the geometry here. And grab this fella. That feels pretty gosh dang good. That's two stars in 15, 16 minutes. So we got two of the three green stars. That's exciting. An unintended purple star, which I did on my first try. Um, yeah, you witnessed it here first. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to go that way. And I'm gonna do the star that I intended to do last time. Which I teased. One of the, the spooky speedster hidden stars, which I literally walked right past. I thought it was something else, but I was incorrect in my deduction. I embarrassed my up. Oh. Well, I did not want to do purple stars with the ghostly galaxy, but uh, I just wanted to do the. I just wanted to do the secret star. But that's the thing that gets on my nerves is that sometimes you can't avoid it because like it forces you to do this. If I remember correctly, this one is also... I believe this one is also timed, and this one really, really sucks. Because I'm not good at pull stars. Yeah, I can hear it. Oh, boy. This might be the final star of the day. Yep. You have a minute to get as many stars as you... As coins as you can. I know I keep saying stars. I'm going to feel like a star if I can get this done. There's also mines in this one that are kind of frustrating. Oh, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. We're wasting a lot of time here. Oh boy, got there. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of coins in this one that you just gotta move really quickly and just be really fluid with your use of the pull stars. We're doing okay so far, but I have a feeling that my path is probably not great. Go for the big swaths of coins if you can. I don't know if that's actually a word. I'm sure it is in some language. So we're going to keep moving around here. There's another good big chunk right here. You have to really be set up, though, in between these. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. That's close, though. 94, not bad. i got to pick a better route. Oh, like 95, 96, that's not bad. I just wasn't ready for this. I forgot that I was going to have to do it. And I also got stuck, so... Had I not gotten stuck, I might have been able to do it. You also have to make sure that you leave yourself time, though, to get the star at the end. Because if you don't, then you're not going to make it. So just keep that in mind. I'm also goofing right now by trying to slip myself between that that sweet meat. Yeah, this is not... This is this route's almost worse than last time. Oh, boy. Yeah, you have to be very free-flowing with how you approach the, uh, the coins in this one. Am I stuck under that bone? You don't want to get stuck under a bone, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want that. The game does give you little jingle jangle reminders that, hey, get a move on, you know. Maybe we'll be able to grab some more coins this way. Okay. So not bad. Also, there's there are lives strewn about to give you a, uh, a reprieve if you're really bad at this like I am. Yeah, there's probably better groups of coins to grab that I didn't. Ah, uh, see, I'm getting up to 95. I got to work a little quicker. I think getting stuck at any point kind of dooms you. That's the, uh, the main downside. Is you can't doom yourself. Use the float of the... Uh, use the float of the coins that you're trying to get and make sure that if you're going to be getting big groups of coins like this that you line it up right because if you don't then you're gonna get stuck and if you get stuck then you're then you're kind of dooming yourself you just got to keep moving as much as you can use that momentum of the pull stars do as I say not as I do because I am clearly not equipped for success here we'll see how many tries I get before I wind up giving up and just doing it off screen hopefully not too many Because I feel like 
you know, I have a good pulse on how to do this in general, but it's just, it's just really tough to, to nail it. To get exactly the amount that you need. Oh, I would have had it if I would have messed that up. Oh, where is it? Oh, please. Please let me have this. Please. Oh. I alluded to this like 50 stars ago that there was going to be a star that I'm going to get that I'm going to run out of time for because of how the game, you know, wants me to do it. That was a huge pain in the butt. The main thing here is just don't get stuck. That's kind of the big thing. If you get stuck at any point, you're kind of doomed. Getting stuck between any of the the meats. Get your meat stuck between the buns. You don't want that. So you just got to keep moving. Keep grabbing the big chains of coins. That's a big thing to do. If you can get the, the chains, don't go for the, the little ones. Go for the big ones if you can. Try to collect a ton all at once if you have the momentum to do it. And if you're static enough, then you can grab the ones that are kind of in the in the long lines of the coins. That's kind of a good a good thing to kind of pull after if you can get it. I think we might have it this time. I'm feeling pretty good about this one. Yes, we did it. That only took four tries. Well, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't. I'm not there yet. Don't. Don't you do it. Oh, Dios mio. My goodness. That, that wasn't looking good. I remember when I did this casually the first time, it, uh, oof, it was brutal. I think we might actually hit four, if not five stars today, which I'm actually pretty pumped about. Because I do know where the secret star is because I looked it up. And I literally walked right past it. I think that's the one that's the biggest pain in the butt because I had some weird thought process that it was in the spooky sprint field somewhere but that didn't make any sense it is not however there's a very odd looking stalagmite here that will launch us far and away to this area this kind of reminds me of the glowberry, I think that's what it is, the glowberry um, power that you get with Yoshi in Galaxy 2, where, or glow bulb, glowberry, I don't know what it is, something glow, glowberry bulb something, that when acquired, it lets you light up certain spots of the areas that you're going to. I've always wondered, like, dynamically, like, what's the kind of... If there's a lore explanation or if there's some sort of, like, canonical reason why booze get scared if you face them. Like, what is it that they're so so afraid of? If, if it's... Is it fear? Is it... Are they... Because, I mean, they look quite afraid. So, like, what is it? You know, like, why... Why are these guys so noivous? Okay, so that was great. Plenty more star bits where that came from, because we were really struggling with them. We're going to jump off this piano, which is actually quite rude to uh, such, a, such a beautiful percussive instrument. I can hear the star, so that's nice. That's half the battle sometimes, is the audio cues. Great. Another life. Get a life. That's uh, my quota for this episode. We're almost there. There it is. Holy smokes, that's four stars in 25 minutes. I feel like... I feel like that's really good. I mean, the last episode I only got three, so I'm trying to make up for it in this one and hopefully get five. Completing that galaxy, though. That's awesome. Let's dip back in one more time. Oh, I don't want to... Mm, I don't want to do that. If Beach Bowl wouldn't have given me a purple star, I would have been able to get to it. And that's what throws me off, is I hate 
that the purple stars supersede every other star that you want to do in that area. Once the purple stars come around and your London London Bridge want to go down, you got to pick and choose. And not really pick and choose, the game chooses for you. It's like, hey, did you want to do that star? Heh, <laughs> too bad. Game's forcing my hand a little bit. Let me play Galaxy how I want, Nintendo, okay? Back off. I didn't consent to this. So I think I should be able to do one more star. I had a planned one in the garden. I'm trying to remember what it even was, because I don't remember. Let's see if I can see it. It was... No, I don't remember it. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to dip into another purple star. That would be way too much. And I feel like we made a lot of really good progress today. Four stars in 25 minutes. Some unexpected ones, to be honest. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I think I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.